Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you're all good. Uh, yeah, I'm back again. I'm in the same clothes, so depending on when these videos go up, if you're thinking, my God, has he worn that for three or four days? No, same day, just doing lots of beers. I'm trying to build up content uh, for when I go away. Got a few days at home, I'm gonna be working in that, so I wanna try and maybe build up some content that I'll release slowly while I'm on holiday, but also there will be some videos coming up from while I'm away. Anyway, right, let's get cracking on this one. It's another one from the Little Oktoberfest beer. Now, I wasn't sure what kind of beer this was. I really wasn't, uh, because it doesn't give much away. And it is from, and excuse the pronunciation, it is brewed and bottled at Browery Zum Kukulbauer, I believe, that is how you pronounce it. And they are out of Abensburg, Germany. Uh, and this is a bottle of their, I'm not sure what it is, Sama Weidegard. Sama Weidegard, something like that, excuse me, flies there. But a beautiful looking label. Uh, and and Kuchelbauer's Gillemus beer. Now there is a story behind that apparently, so I've heard. Uh, but I don't know what it is, so we'll just go along with it. We'll show you the crown, if I just get that right, there we go. I don't know how much you can see of that, but nice crown on it. Now, like I said, this was out of the little Oktoberfest beer box, 10 beers for 24.99, coming in at £2.49. It's a 500 ml bottle, and this is coming in at 5.6%. Now, I said I don't have a clue what sort of beer it is, and I don't, but there is something on the side of this bottle saying, no idea. <sighs> Kuhl und Dunkel Lagen. Uh, drink or serve at seven to eight degrees. Zutaten, Wasser, Gerstammels and Hopfen. Well, they'll be the ingredients, I'm guessing. So, I mean, it's saying a Dunkel Lager. So we'll just have to see. But if it's a lager, it's gonna be a Fespier thing, obviously being in this box. But it's a beautiful looking bottle, like I say, and it was a beautiful label on it. Bear with me. Right, we're back. Had a little bit of a distraction there. Uh, my wife got stuck on the bed outside. Not bed, chair thing. Got caught on it. And <laughs> mass panic, mass panic. Anyway, where were we? We was on about this uh, German little box, Oktoberfest beer, blah, 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 £2.49 a bottle. I think it's good value. Looks really nice. Yada, yada, yada. I think possibly on the side of the bottle is kind of making out it's a, a Dunkel Lager. So, stop waffling. I don't have anything from this brewery. Best beer lager. I like a nice big tankard like that. So let's whack it in there. Get moving. Cracking on with this video. Now, I have no idea when you are going to see this video. Who knows? Uh, I don't want to bombard you with German videos. I'm trying to mix things up. I've done a few videos today. I'm going to try and do, like I said, a few before I go away. So, What I would say is if you can get hold of the little Oktoberfest box, do it. Do it because oh, German beers are just really good beers anyway. Some people say, yeah, maybe it's overpriced at 240 you know, because you can pick them up for nothing in Germany, but you know, they got to be imported, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. You're not going to get to Germany, are you, for a quid? Right. A little bit left in the bottle. Should I put that in? I'll top it up a little bit. Right, so the beer in a glass. Now, if this is a Dunkel Lager, there is definitely something wrong with it because that definitely isn't a dark lager. It's definitely looking like a lager though. We've got minimal bubbles slowly moving up the glass. It's clear as a bell, very much straw sort of color. And we've got a finger of white on top, sort of fluffy white. It's looking a bit more compact now when you do that. Makes it look a little bit better. 5.6%, so let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. Yeah, typical sort of German lager. Malty, a little bit hoppy. Bready notes in there. And it's got that bready hell's kind of note in there for definite. But other than that, it just smells like 
a standard sort of German lager, so. But it smells good. So let's stop waffling on. Let's top her up. And we shall dive in on, bear with me, Browism Kukelbauer and their Sammer Weidengard Gillamoose beer. Let's give her a go. Cheers, everyone. Oh yeah, yeah, oh that's good, that is good, that is lovely. Would I call it a fest beer? Off the top of my head, no. There, there, to me there's no resemblance that this beer is a fest beer. What it is though, is a German beer and it's very good. That will end it there, then I'll get on and do my usual stuff. Five point six percent. Let me just remind myself. Yeah, five point six percent. That is a lovely body on it. The body just has that nice, hit, not hint, but that nice subtle weight to it. It's bready. It's smooth. It almost has a creamy body to it. A creamy bready body to it. Carbonation is quite busy in the mouth. Not big bubbles, small bubbles. You do feel them, but it 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 doesn't ruin the beer when you're drinking it. it it's almost just a bit of a wake up call to your taste buds as you're drinking it. Now with the carbonation, yeah, it is a little bit rough around the edges, but my word, it's still really smooth. It glides down the throat, it really does. That is so smooth and not slick. Slick would be the wrong word because that makes you think of oiliness, but oh my God, it, it's just, it just goes down the mouth really well on the taste. Mm. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful drinking experience. Bready. It's got that lovely, slightly sweet breadiness. So it's not overpowering on the sweetness. A lot of beers, yeah, they're not sort of overpowering on the sweetness. German beers with the breadiness and the, the, the sort of sweet malts. But when you get something that little bit less, obviously it depends on your taste buds. But for me, this, this is beautiful. You get that lovely, sweet, soft maltiness, that lovely breadiness, pardon me. There's almost that little soft hop tingle. This feels like an M&S review. This isn't just any hop tingle. This is an M&S hop tingle. Terrible, isn't it? I'm starting to get all sexual in my videos. But it's got that lovely little hop, hoppy bite tingle going on in there. And I think alongside that, a real gentle citrus note. But let me just confirm that. Mm. A very, 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 very subtle citrus note. But enough to notice it. Not so subtle that you're searching for it. But subtle that... It's not something that you massively pick up, but you know it's in there. The 5.6% is nowhere. The 5.6% is nowhere. Um, yeah, you know it's a, a slightly bigger beer than what you might normally drink, but there's no overpowering flavors. <sighs> wow. For me, personally, this is a, is a belter of a beer. Not necessarily Oktoberfest, I would say. And like I say, it gives the impression on the side that Dunkel Lagen, uh, it's, it certainly doesn't come across as Dunkel Lagen to me. Uh, but my word, I, I think that is an absolute banger of a beer. So uh, let me just look at the back again. 
Browry Zum Kukulbauer from Albumsburg, Albumsburg, Album, Abensburg, Abensburg, Germany, and their Samet Weidengard Gillamus beer is banging. That for me is an absolute belter, absolute belter, uh, and it and it's not just the beer; it's the whole drinking experience you get from it. I'm finding that really smooth, really enjoyable. Suits my taste buds down to the ground. Everything just seems to be so well balanced. And my God, I'm looking forward to the other two of them. That's beautiful. So yeah, for me, if you've got the little box or if you can, I'll always say any of the beers that I do out of this little box, if you can get hold of it, I know it's like rocking all shit almost. If you can get hold of them, if you see them, pick them up pick them up you're getting 10 decent beers for 25 quid and i haven't even reviewed them all but you just know they're going to be decent but that that's an absolute banger absolute banger uh if you've got the boxes i really do hope you enjoy them beers i think that's a belter if you've had it let me know what you think feel free to comment thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video that's a see ya on another one cheers